Hello, everybody. Minister Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we got the initial stages of our Sapphire processing facility um, installed here. At least we've got the crushing going, and we've got the flotation cells uh, built and installed. Uh, we still need some more stuff. We need purified water, and then we need something to do to handle the uh, sulfuric wastewater byproduct, which we actually really, really need some of that. So, that is what we're going to be working on today. Continuing to work on clearing trees. Alright. So, we need a place to begin making purified water. And we're going to be using these hydro plants to split regular water into purified water and saline water. We will eventually have something to do with the saline water, but we really don't have any need for it just yet. And what I'm thinking of doing is it needs going to need to be an expandable area because each one of these is going to need purified water. We're going to have several of them. Now, if you look at our map, I'm kind of anticipating that this area over here is going to be used for slag and stone processing. Right? I'm not sure how far it's going to go, but this area over here is going to be used for that. Um, down here... Down here, let's see, maybe we'll put the sulfur processing down over here, this area. We just need access to some water. We could put it here, but we're going to need a lot more room than that. Well, while I'm thinking about this, let's get the hydro plants built. Oh. Oh, I already have them built. Never mind. Let's see. I don't necessarily want to put them too far on the other side of this track, so I want to use... Um, this railroad area, probably use this wall line for defense. So we we'll only have to basically defend. Maybe this wall line would be good. So we can block off all of this area, and then we'll have access to the water using landfill to... Um, basically gain some more land without in you know, having to push into um, biter territory too much. We may have to clear out this island at some point. It's got some thermal water on it. All right, so I don't I want to keep the space in between the tracks open. I guess we'll just use we'll go here. We'll go right here. This will be fine. So we can bring the water down from the north. All right. That's going to be the plan. Two, three... Four. I'm going to ghost that one in so I know which trees I need to destroy. There we are. So we're doing the water purification. We're going to need a pump. 
And we're gonna need some pipe, which we have stone pipe to ground, but I think... I think I might use steel pipe. Well, at least the steel pipe to grounds, anyway. Because they should have a longer underground distance, which is what I'm really interested in. Because specifically... Oh! Just noticed that I'm missing a signal. Right there. Okay. So, steel pipe to ground. Specifically, I want to know, will it get all the way across? It won't quite get all the way across. So it'll have to do that. Oh, that's that's good enough. I'm gonna be using these areas in between the tracks for driving, so I kind of want to keep them clear, if at all possible. All right, stone pipe to ground. Not enough room there for that. Well, I'll just move the radar. And what I'll do is that. Kind of got to be careful working around the train tracks because um, the train could very well hit me and kill me, which I almost guarantee that that is going to happen numerous times throughout this series. Especially the more and more trains that get on this track, it's going to get even it's going to get worse and worse for that. The trains are the bane of my existence. Alright, there we are. Oh, we need to actually hook it up to the water supply. Now, at some point... I will get strong enough armor and shields... That the trains will no longer be a threat, but that is going to be a while from now. Alright. Water all along here. Let's put some lights in. So that we can see what we're doing. There we go. Now, did I make myself the tank? Yes, and I made myself the clarifier. Good, all right. It's been a little while since I recorded, so I can't remember exactly what I got done and what I didn't. All right. So, tank. Gonna put that there. And we're going to... Actually, I'm probably going to need another tank. Yes. Alright. This is going to be for saline water.
There we go. Oop, and I need more pipe to stone pipe to ground. Uh, can I hand make them? I can hand make a few of them. Alright, now what we need to do is we need to use a overflow valve. And a clarifier. Make sure we give that clarifier power. All right, so now we need to send the actual purified water to the north. Again, using a tank as storage. And I want to create a pump. I actually need to go two lengths of pipe out of the outputs. And I don't think six of these are going to be enough. Okay. Now it does make only 20 saline water for every 100 purified so this tank is going to fill up a lot faster than this tank okay now i want to put that pump directly out of the tank And then we need to get across the road again. So we need some more steel and some more stone. All right, I'm gonna go grab some more materials. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back with materials. Let's see. Nope, nope. Not gonna be able to do it like that. Um, so we're gonna have to go directly pipe to ground. I'm gonna go steel pipe to ground. Wow, I can get all the way there. All right, I'll take it all the way there. Ooh, that was a close one. All right. Continue to use stone pipe to ground because it's the most plentiful resource that I have at the moment. Even though we don't get quite a lot of distance out of it. Oh, actually, let me um, let me turn this north here. I gotta put that radar back. Meh, I'll worry about that later.
Let's see, where do we want to bring it? I think we want to bring it along... Along this... Along this belt. And we'll connect it here. Actually, we'll connect it like this. Split it to come up here. Yeah, might as well just fill in the underground pipes while I'm here. these all up and there's a break in the pipe somewhere right there Okay, so now we have purified water. Now we need somewhere for the... Not enough stone bricks, of course. Not enough stone bricks. For the sulfuric wastewater to go. I was saying I was going to bring that down here, right? Yes. So, sulfuric wastewater is going to redirect down here. Uh, need to connect up here. Uh, we're going to bring it. Right about there. I get all the way across there. No, I will not. I'm just going to line these up with the purified water. Then we're going to bring it down. Bring it through here. And connect it up. All right, so now we're gonna go across the parking area and then through here to down to this area. I 
much landfill we have in here. 24 landfill. Alright. That's not a ton. How much brick do we have? We got a lot of brick. Alright. So, again, I'm going to do another resource run. I will be back in a sec. Alright, I am back with more pipe. More bricks. So we can keep on going here. Alright. What we may want to do here is switch to the steel pipe to ground so we can guarantee we'll have enough distance. Not sure if that's really, really where I want it. That'll do. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we'll take that off. I did make myself a new there it is tank I'm gonna put it right there let me just move this tank down just a second All right, sulfuric wastewater. Now we can just let that tank fill up for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract the wastewater, or extract the sulfur from the wastewater. It'll actually create us purified water, which we can cycle back into the system. And then we take the sulfur, we turn it into sulfur dioxide, then we take the sulfur dioxide, and then using purified water, turn it into sulfuric acid, which is used for mining, it's used for batteries, it's used for ore, uh, ore refinement, all kinds of stuff. So, very useful. All right, so we now need to take the chunks that we're getting from here and we need to start turning them into various types of ore and storing that ore in some sort of depository and then we need to handle the slag all right what volume Of oh, it's got all messed up. All right, well, let's just say we have no, it's here. We have nine. We have nine facilities making chunks. That produces Are these flow station cell mark twos? No. Mark one flotation cells. That's producing six point eight chunks per second. Okay. Not a problem. That's easily handled. With a yellow belt. I don't think we're even going to need to 
put these on opposite sides of the belt either. Oh, that's right, Geo told the phone. Hold the phone. I have to do something about the blue geodes. How many of those do we make? 1.7 per second. So it is a little bit more than half a belt. We should be alright. Because only half... No, that is for this. Okay, so... We are going to need to alternate these on different sides of the belt. Alright. Let's make a whole bunch of inserters. Alright, so you're going to drop near. You're going to be far. And we'll do it like this. Copy, paste, paste, paste. All right, and then we'll need to make sure that all these guys get power. Oh, somehow we didn't get all these inserters set up correctly. There we are, and we didn't get these inserters set up correctly. Are any of them set up correctly? No, none of them are. All right, drop. No, wait, 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 those are set up correctly. Right, 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 they're fine. It's just that these guys are all full, right. We're just going to copy that over to these guys. Get them power. Alright, for now there isn't much we can do with the geodes. So what we'll need to do is first off Actually, should I make these red belts? Let's actually make them red.
Oh, I used up all the yellow belts. All right, hold on. Now what we're gonna do is for this, output priority to the right for the blue geodes. And for the time being, I'm going to create a warehouse. And we're just going to stick the blue geodes in the warehouse so I can figure out what to do with them. So I think that I can... I can process them. But... I can't actually crystallize them. Oh no, I can. I can make crystal slurry with blue geodes. And then the crystal slurry can be filtered. Can make crystal seedlings. Or we can use, make mineral sludge out of it. Sulfuric acid for dissolving the geodes. Not great ready for that yet. So for now, we just do this. Okay, so then that cleans the geodes out of the line. And now we need the ore sorting facilities. Now we need four of them. This is going to be interesting to see how we're going to do this. All right, because we need to send the slag to be processed. Basically, for now, I'm going to take the slag and grind it into gravel, and then I'm going to use it to make landfill. I think the easiest way to do this is just do these in line. Just kind of keep the whole system in a line. And then what we'll end up doing is stacking them to the north. And then we we'll might be using this um, portions of this island up here to actually start making the ores into plates. All right, I'm gonna use two inserters per sorter, like that. And then we're gonna be doing sapphire chunk sorting.
All right, now there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Because we've got five items that are going to need to come out of here. Get sort, get sorted again, I guess, and then put into storage. Okay. I'm going to need one, two, three, four. I'll go with four filter inserters for now. Put them like this. All right, and then we'll do one every one and a half seconds. So then that is four every one and a half seconds, which is definitely slow enough to go with a yellow belt. This will come this way. Clear the trees. And what we'll do... is run out of belts. That's what we'll do. Uh, what we'll do is we will bring it over here, set up a crusher or a set of crushers to crush the slag into gravel and then feed the gravel into the factories that are making stone and continue to make landfill all right but i think that we are at the end of this episode and so next episode we will look into sorting out and storing the various ores from these facilities and do i want to use filter inserters on the separate belts which is going to get really, really difficult. Or do we want to just load everything onto a single belt? Like a single red belt. And then sort it somewhere else using either um, splitter sorters or. Um, Something else. Splitter sorters might work. The splitter sorters cause some trouble sometimes. If one line backs up, it can basically shut the entire thing down. But... Should be alright. At least for now, anyway. We'll probably need to come up with a more efficient way of doing it when we build the next 2.0 facility for ore processing, which is going to be a ways off. Um, so, because this is only one stage. There's like a couple of more stages are, that we're going to have to take the chunks and, and refine them even further. So, we will see about doing that. But as I said, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you 
next time.